Hi YouTube and welcome to another video from me, Rich Co Photo. Um, today I've gone down to Southampton Docks again, um, just because there was a couple of cruise liners leaving. Um, so I thought I would share that with you guys out there, just so you could see what it was like. That's one of the massive car transporters that's there. And as I pan around across the docks, there's another auto liners, which is the uh, car transporters, and that's the Oceana there, ready to depart Southampton Docks. And if I look a bit further into the distance there, there's the independence of the sea. Um, as the Oceana moves out, they both leave together. Um, this is one of the red funnel fast cats that go across from Southampton to the Isle of Wight. That was just coming by, so I thought I'd film that as well. And then the cruise ship ships start to leave the docks. You can see it's a very hot day when I was doing this. And there's the Oceana just leaving the dock behind that car transporter. And then she comes around the dock head. There's a massive cruise liner. But it's not as big as the independence of the sea. And there she is, going out a bit further. You can see by that little yacht there, the difference in the size. I'm not quite sure how many uh, passengers it, it carries, actually. I might need to do a bit of quick research and then put that on the screen for you to see. There's another yacht going by. She just moves out just in front of her to the left, just out of shot, as a couple of pilot boats. Um, and they sit in front of all the ships out of Southampton docks and when the QE2 and the Queen Mary and um, Queen Mary 2 was in they had the fire ships and everything going out so in this shot what I wanted to do is just hold the camera still and just allow you to see the full length and height of the Oceana as you can see there's lots of people stood out on the deck in there at the top and all the different levels of cabins that they have, all those little cabin balconies. And as you move further down the ship, you see you have the, the lifeboats. And again, Pino's cruises. There's some boats, lots of boats go out to see the ships off, and, and then when they come into port. These ships arrived at 6.30 in the morning, um, and then left, this is around five o'clock in the evening. And there's a couple of guys on their jet skis today as the uh, independence of the sea left. So I thought I'd give them a quick bit of fame on YouTube. They probably don't even know they're on it, but they're on it now. And here comes the uh, independence of the sea. As you can see, she's much taller and a much bigger ship then the Oceana. Again you can see the pilot boat just in front of her there to going about the same speed as she is as she leaves the dock. I think they go right out to the Isle of Wight and then they allow them to under their own steam and again just filming along the full length of the ship. Um, those little square boxes are actually balconies and when I zoomed in on them you could see the people just stood there looking out of their room and again lots of people there just all stood taking the views in as they leave the port like this is the uh, there's a swim pools are on that top deck there there's some different areas on the back there where people can stand there were a lot of people on that ship so Maybe I need to look at how many passengers she can hold as well and put that on the screen so you can see the amount of, uh, maybe their weight or something, I'll look into that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed those quick cruise ships. If you did, leave a comment and you have a great day.